okay, we're on our way. To save... Johnny Nashers. <laughs> Heard that he's with the turtle. So... Let's get there. We got a long way to go. And a short time to get there. Back into the mist. Insta the gas mask. Pipe and tobacco pouch. Johnny would never have left them on purpose. No way. Left his backy. Well, that's that gone then. Cheers. Well, I am king. I am king. Got me. I don't think so. He did, though. Ow. Big dude. They hurt though, didn't they? Oh! Missed again! <laughs> Why do I always miss that? I think it just... Are supposed to. It's probably gonna have got me sword out. Got all this extra weight. This is obviously deep dark bit because it's the sound goes. The sound is all really deep and hazy. Here they come. How many? Boom! Hang on a minute, I was in mid... mid-killing move. So for that. They hurt though, didn't they? And another one. Oh, he's not on he's not on the pitch yet. You haven't got me at all. See? Ooh! Ow! Ooh! As Reggie felled the last of the undead, Bertle appeared, calling for help. A young rat was under attack. Reggie and Bertle rushed to his homestead. Radio. Bit more rush in there, turtle. Aha. Uh -huh. Save it up. Oh, I'm first, am I? All right, okay. Let's go. Here, here he is. Not a foe, oh. but Crocus Khan. This fearsome toad king rode his lizard steed into many a battle. But this would be his last. Crocus Khan! Glad I got my armor on. Ow! Whoa. What am I supposed to do here? Ow! And he's chucking stuff. I got no poison. Thank you. 
That's a good flop. Yeah! Good flop. Some of this. Yeah! Ha <laughs> Ah, oh no. Right, come on now. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Come on. Got him. Got him. Go. Yeah. It's rumored that one in eight frogs can trace their lineage to the great crocus. But this old toad would sire no more. With Crocus defeated, Johnny and Bertle thanked Reggie for his help. Reggie hoped in the future they would find safer and less pungent places to trade. Whoa. Wow. Crocus calm. <laughs> That's all extra special armor as well, look. I must admit that Crocus Carbon Armour was better. But it's on storage at the moment. Still got me kingly robes on. It wasn't as frog resistant. Or toad resistant. But it definitely... That's what saved us there. This armour we've got on. He, was, he would have had us. So it's a definite choice of armour for these big main bosses. I had the right armour. Okay, let's get back. Or do we have any more? Oh, it's quite a way back. Hopefully we shouldn't see anything. We shouldn't see any resistance on the way back this time. I think we've cleared everything away. All the undead. It says, is that what it's saying? The undead is gone? Hang on. Yeah, it's down here. Yeah, what am I thinking? Does that mean that that is all the undead? Even like we won't see him, we won't see him on the other side. That's interesting. Because there are, I think there is there anything else we haven't done? Oh, got it. I think we must have done most of it by now. Most of all this tunnel system. Sure we have. That's a long way in here. <laughs> it's a long way to... Travelling! That's got to be it now. Or is it saying to go? <laughs> There's more. You lot. Why couldn't I just go to found you all at once? But then again, it's all worth gold, isn't it? What the gold is for. We've got 34 gold now. Plus we've got our opponents that all of a sudden want to want to fight me for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think they're going to have... Well, we don't know how hard they are, do we? The King's Court... The King's Tail. What's this? Now the band is together again. They need a place to perform their new songs about their adventure. Rex had asked the King to meet the bards in the cellar. He had a grand vision for the Crimson Keep's dark storeroom. What? 
Okay, let's have a look and see what the armor's like. Look at all this new stuff as well. I like what we got on though. Okay, so we've got to go past through the kitchen anyway. Because you don't know if we're going to... I mean, that was... You know... We don't know who we're going to find, do we? I just like, well, we, this is our, our kingly robes. Hey, hey! Rex's plan was to convert the dank cellar into a bustling pub. If some rat could gather the materials. Oh, here we go. Reggie was happy to find what they needed. If for no other reason, then it may stop so many bards disappearing into the crypts. How simple as that. Alright, what'd you need? Beer, nails, and the hammer. Beer, nails, hammer. Right. Well, I'm the king. I should be able to sort that out. Right, which order? We've probably got to go to the shop somewhere to get the uh, beer, I reckon. Well, I've got to go into town for that. It cost us like eight, 80 gold or something. Isn't it? This beer. What's, what's, <laughs> what's the bets? Oh, that'd, be, that'd be 100 gold, sir. Are you what? Dude, I'm the bloody king. Well, it don't matter if you're the king. I don't care. 80 gold it is. Well, uh, uh, you're the king. 100 gold. Aha! Excuse me, sir. What do you want? Five gold. Cheeky bugger. Give it here. Cut your bloody head off. What was that, sir? Pub construction materials. The trader was relieved to hear the bards had a trade to fall back on for when this musician fantasy inevitably failed. Was that? So he offered a good price. Was that? Did I have the beer as well? Is that it? Well, there you go, look. Five gold it cost us. Well, I'm, I'm surprised. Okay, right. Here we go again. So we just needed hammer and nails. I thought we needed... I thought there was... Well, there you are, look. I misread that. Sorry, lads. The lasses. Here we go. Having the necessary materials, Reggie handed them over to Rex and the Bards. Reggie wondered if they had even a basic understanding of construction. Hey. Hey! Reggie could see himself spending many a night in the King's Tale, basking in the music, sipping red berry wine, and regaling the rat folk with tales of his battles, whether they wanted to be regaled or not. Chew! Have to sit down, I think. band well that was worth rescuing them I suppose we've got a, new, we've got a pub <laughs> great that was good now what um I 
Now what? Now we know that there's those fighting. We've got those fights. Let's have a sit down, shall we? Right, what are we gonna do? Um Well we do have one thing we gotta do, and that's actually go and visit. The, the Squirrel King, he's got something to say to us, isn't he? So I think we've cleared, we have cleared our lands. We've cleared the undead. We've cleared the frogs. We've cleared the mozzies. So what's next? Bright fir forest. So they've got a different chair. Look, looks like a log. So we're here. Bright fir forest. Right. Um. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Nice. We've got some. Potion. Done. Hello. Reggie was greeted by the squirrel guide Zazu at the forest edge. She'd been sent to show the king the way to the festival, a secret path known only by squirrel folk. And an axe. Shield and a staff and a and a hat. I think. Do we wear? Well, I think we should. Tradition. Ooh. Yeah. So we haven't got great defence at the moment, have we? But we've got a new hat, and we're in the Squirrel Kingdom, so Squirrel Hat. It is. Got an up, up and down. The forest was not at all what the young king expected. He'd heard the bright fur's golden leaves bathed the entire forest in light. There'd been no mention of these giant mushrooms that made the air heavy with spores. Wow. Yeah, heavy. Okay, we need a key for that door. Right, do we use the mushroom to jump across? Oh, it sinks. So that leads to an, an underworld, I guess. Doors away, isn't it? Another one unlocked. Hello. The bright fur's golden light fell on the forest clearing and caravans Sorry. like an enchantment. The mood, though, was not festive, but worried. Wow. Zazu, embarrassed, explained the reason they asked the brave young king here was to plead for his help. The squirrel elder and a priest of the bright fur journeyed to the abandoned glimmer mines to harvest bright moss and had not returned. So there's a shop there. Tune. Okay, it's not here yet. The shop's not here yet. But, but there will be. With the golden light of the camp behind him, Reggie headed back out into the gloom in search of the mines. 
travel then. Can't speak to these. So I wonder what foes we're going to meet here. Signs were not oh. promising. Outside the glimmer mines were vicious beetles. Bugs. What had driven them from their cave home? The squirrel folk were in more danger than they knew. The bugs. We'd cleared all the bugs, hadn't we, as well? That was another one. The bugs, the mozzies, the toads, the undead. So that answers the question. Bugs. Now, should I change my armour? Oh. Need a key. Right, it's through there then. Into the mines. That's not a mine! Bloody well it is. Hey! Ooh, nice! New bow! Special, special bow. Look at the surround is different. Not as good a shield. But a new bow. Wow. We haven't used the bow for a bit, have we? We generally use that for the mozzies and everything, didn't we? That's a definite save. We've also got um, everything here. The squirrel elder's walking cane, lying abandoned. If he didn't have it, Reggie wondered, how did he carry himself from this place? Right, in for the elder. Ooh! I haven't, got the, I haven't got the right armor on, have Wrong, but they're not giving any um, bug juice. Hesitating whether to change the armor. I probably should. <laughs> Famous last words. We've got a save down here on its own. The rocks of the glimmer mines glowed with a blue light unlike anything Reggie had ever seen. Reggie wondered what the moles would make of this place. Yeah. Moles would be able to use this. The squirrel Whoa. elder's lifeless body lay on the floor. The priest at his side. Before Reggie could approach, he found out why they were trapped here. This was the nest of the beetle. Beetle Queen! Oh, I, didn't get, I didn't get a hit on that. Ow. That side.
shot. No. Get in there. Yes. Smoking of extra potent bright moss, <laughs> unaware he almost became the Beetle Queen's snack. Thanking Reggie for the rescue, they headed back to begin the festival. <laughs> extra potent bright moss. That's a even better bow. That was. Look at that shield. Ooh. What? That's got to be done. It's got to be done. We have now got. Beetle Queen armor on. Wow. So is that the that the end of the Beatles? Oh no. Nineteen seventy all over again. Love that little bit. Thank you. Save it up. Well, that was two poisons. Well, that was good. That was that's the Beetle Queen done. Hopefully, that's that's the Beetle Queen finished. So, what's going to be the next foes? Oh, we should fill up there, really. Guaranteed, we probably got to go back down there. I found I missed something else. What now? I dropped my flip flop. What? Da -da. With the squirrel elder back at the bright fur, with a tankard of bright sap in his paw, the festival of leaf skull could finally begin. Yeah. No sooner had the elder raised his cup into the air to begin his opening speech, came the clattering of wood and smashing of glass. To everyone's horror, a drunken squirrel had knocked over the table with the bright sap. The festival of Leap's Fall could not continue without the rare and sacred drink. The squirrel elder turned to Reggie, asking if the brave young king would again save their festival and venture into the shrine of the tapped root. To collect more bright sap. No, I'm not going. Bloody hell. Do you want it? Oh, there's a shop. This market stall sells all sorts of quality goods. A few coins spent here would spruce up the Crimson Keep nicely. Book nook. Alright, this is things in the castle. Bye. Bug houses. Center of the crimson of the crimson keep. Shrines, new shrines to one of the brave soldiers. Return the war against the frogs. There's three. Ah, so this, this is what your money's for, look. New paintings around the castle depicting Reggie's many victories. Statues, a set of three statues carved in stone immortalizing Reggie's victories. Uh, prepared, prepared King Ratter's portrait. Yeah, that's got to be done. Smithy banners, bright banners that hang in the smithy. Oh, we got it. I bet there'd be something else. Be something else. So that was a load of new. So that when we get back to the castle, that should all be. Uh... <laughs> Fair enough. So where were we? Let's fill up. Save it up. Cool. 